Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. And for today's video, we're going to be looking at the Pixel 2 XL. Now, I've been covering this phone quite a bit this year. That's uh, no secret. But before I get into the phone, let me just first off wish every dad out there a happy Father's Day. And hopefully you are spending your time relaxing and enjoying the day. But let's kind of take into the phone itself. Why am I starting to look obsessed with the Pixel 2 XL. And I have to say, hands down, bar none, the best Pixel phone ever built by Google would be this device. Just the way that it fill in hand, it's phenomenal. It's still kicking, it's still chugging along. And while yes, this is a older device, um, it's still good if you're looking to get a Pixel device and at a fairly decent price. Uh, screen size, it's a 6-inch display, 1440 by 2880 pixels. It's got a 12-megapixel rear shooter in the back and uh, 4 gigs of RAM. With uh, This one is a 64-gig storage. Uh, Snapdragon 835 chip. And for the battery, it's got a 3520 milliamp hour battery. Now, this device is running the latest Android 11, and it is not going to get Android 12, unfortunately, uh, which is a sad case for it because with my particular model, the uh, bootloader is locked. So if I was going to try and go around that, it would be a lot of extra steps to get to that point. But eventually, when I feel like that, I want to do it. I'll dive into it and do it. And when there's custom ROMs for this device on Android 12, I will install those. Uh, the camera is still a beast on this thing, and that's what Pixels are known for is the camera. Still photography is phenomenal, even though there's only one sensor on the back compared to today's uh, current devices that houses anywhere between two to six different sensors on the back of the phone. This still has a single sensor. And so you'll be able to get those really good still photography shots. But if you're looking for anything otherwise than that, like ultra wide, monochrome or any of those things, telephoto, it's not there. Uh, the selfie cam is just fine itself and a very vivid and uh, detailed. So you can get some really nice selfies with that. Um, but again, like I said, one of the main things that uh, really draws me to this is the fact that one, you know, it's got front firing speakers, so which I think is a nice, a nice setting uh, if you want to have that really enriched audio experience. Um, as far as like bass and clarity, it's kind of on the bland side compared to like the Pixel 4, which happens to have really good uh, audio quality. You get that orange accent button on the side that's shown right there. Uh, you get a secondary mic on the top of the device. And of course, I have the Panda version, so... Yeah, I have the exclusive color and that nice G logo on the back, nice and shiny. Uh, but in total, today, you could probably find this device for less than 150 bucks. And, you know, it's still a solid device, even though it's not supported anymore by Google since the last update was October of last year. Uh, it's got a nice size display, so very great for, for gaming and stuff like that, media consumption and everything. And uh, as it being a big phone, it's probably one of the only ones that I really consider to be comfortable in the hand. Uh, for it being such a large device and so yeah it is one of my favorite phones to use i continuously go back to it over the other ones but if you guys enjoyed this video you guys know what to do smash the like button that really helps out the channel if you guys enjoy these little uh, clips let me know in the comments subscribe if you have not and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads or my live streams and that is it thanks for checking it out law